This is a Scarlet and Violet booster box, and today we're going to be opening all 36 packs in here in hopes to complete our Scarlet and Violet set. I also have my binder here, and we're going to be taking a look at that to see what cards I still need and to see if we can get close or even fully complete the set today. So without further ado, I think we can dive into this binder, see what cards I still need, and then we can open up this booster box and see what hits we can get. But anyways, let's set my binder up and let's take a peek what's inside this beautiful binder. Alright guys, so binder right here, and let's start flipping through quickly you'd probably skip this page since we are fully done now I think in the main set I'm actually only missing a couple cards speak of the devil there is two right there I'm pretty sure this one's Arcanine like the Terrasalized Arcanine and then this one's a regular rare slowpoke or not and a common card slowpoke I don't know why I haven't pulled it yet in here we are full over here I think we're missing just a regular watch roll there like a couple of these cards should be like we should pull today regardless that are just like kind of regular common cards that I just need to complete the set out here um okay so this one is going to be Great Tusk EX and then this one is Coridon EX so I mean we do get a lot of EXs in booster boxes so I wouldn't be surprised if we can get that this one up here is a Zangoose card I mean that one should be relatively not too bad to get this one's a trainer I'm pretty sure and then we're gonna start getting into the pages where things get a little more thinned out this full page of trainers trainers and now we're going to get into the art rares of the set so as you can see skullvillian right there with a blank page so we have a couple cards still to pull same with this one here this one here as well a couple of nice ones i did recently pull the riolu card which is super nice i know the pull rate on that one has been a little bit lower so we're glad we got that one here are our full arts it's convenient that the four full arts we have are actually all listed into kind of one quadrant there and then i guess this is the last card in the binder right now as it stands the gardevoir ex alternate art and today i'm really hoping we can pull the uh the karide on one but anyways i think it's time if i can pull it up here that we get in to this booster box, I think I'm going to do it kind of more of a rip style today, a little less uh, slow Patrick, and see how I like that, and see if we can pull some of the cards we need. So, a Scarlet and Violet booster box, this is our second one we have opened up on the channel, so I think since we've opened up a little bit of this set now, I'm not going to kind of slow play the cards. There is 36 of them today that we kind of have to motor on through, so I figured today it would be more of a, let's try to see what cards we do need, because nothing's really new at this point, other than like if we get a big hit, obviously, I'll, we'll, we'll see that and we can show that one off, but I think for the meantime, man, oh, you just got to love a booster box. You just got to love a fresh booster box here. All these packs, all the potential, hopefully a juicy ultra rare. I mean, I'm hoping for, I guess, an alternate art would be the hope today, or even some of them gold cards. I know we need well, all of them, so any would do for me for sure. And again, we will just kind of, uh, kind of quick play them here, see if we pull anything, nothing out of that one. Just kind of a, a motor on through it today. I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh my gosh, this isn't the pack trick. This isn't the pack trick where we know and love. Well, I mean, there is a lot of them to go through today. Sprigatito Ndidi there. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I thought I'd do something different. Try I always do the pack trick. And it's not that you guys don't like it. I just felt like today these, you know, 20 some odd minute booster box openings can kind of be cranked down into a little bit less of a video. I mean, crunch down here. And hopefully, I mean, I should be kind of checking some of the regular rares. I'll probably have to do it after we kind of crank through everything to see if there is anything that I pull that I need because I'm honestly not really looking in the regular rare slot too, too much right now. Or not even the regular rare slot, the like the common slot because I know we do need a, a slow poke or whatever that may entail. I guess I can kind of slow play it, King Gambit there, but I, definitely the last couple packs will do the pack trick on. I'm uh, expecting still some good ultra rares in this box. And is there anything in here? No, we're striking out so far. Just making sure. I'll just kind of slightly play it. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to miss one and you guys in the comments are going to be like, oh my gosh, you missed the slow poke or you missed the Zangoose because I'm just kind of like fast playing these ones. The one thing I did notice about this set when I was putting together the binder, speaking of, I guess, the Miriam there, hopefully we can pull that alternate art today, but as I was putting this binder together, I noticed that a lot of the, um, a lot of the, uh, the rare cards are, like, super easy to hit, because everything's a hollow now, it's not like you're hunting down, I know when I was doing Lost Origin, like, a lot of the problems, or not problems, I would say, but some of, like, the evasive cards came as, uh, actually, like the poly holographic ones, just because they were a little bit harder to pull it found. Like, like you almost were like hunting down. I think mine was like a shift tree and like a, um, I believe it was a like a pyroar. Like it was just a card that was just uh, weird to pull. Like 
I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but oh, okay. Spidopsy X. We do have that one. Set that one to the back. But there's our first EX hit of the day. I mean, we're only a couple packs in, so I'm expecting obviously a lot more than that. Hopefully, some art rares. I'm trying to think of some of the cool ones that are in this set that we can still pull. Halucha right there. I'll do a quick check through. I'm kind of looking for that Slowpoke. That's actually the card. I'm shocked I didn't have it when I went through like my ETB of like cards. Like I sorted them all out, went through them, did the traditional like, you know, binder sorting way. And I was expecting, I was like, well, why didn't I have Slowpoke in there? Like that's a card I feel like I should have, but I guess I was wrong and I did not have it. I was surprised that like the common cards were the ones I was missing. I was expecting to miss like more hollows. I guess the Arcanine and the two EXs are kind of the bigger ones that we are waiting on Quackwavel, Cyclozar there. But yeah, I mean, EXs in the regular set were down to three. So that would be Arcanine, uh, Great Tusk, and then Mariah Dunn. Oh, nice, Torntula, that is a good one. We do need that one for sure. Again, the, the holographic is definitely different. I know a lot of people have been kind of commenting, actually you can see Scyther up there in the top trying to like catch him, that's pretty cool. A lot of people have been noting that the quality on the cards is a little bit, I would say shakier. Uh, some people don't like the way it looks and in all fairness, I will say that if you've ever seen or held like, um, I guess fake Pokemon cards, the holographic pattern on that is almost identical to like that of a fake card. So, in that sense, I'm not surprised that some people, Gyarados EX there. Okay, so we do already have the Terrasilize Gyarados EX, but again, a nice hit to add to the duplicate binder, the trade binder, hopefully do some trades with some other people, maybe be able to secure some more cards with that Gyarados there, even though that one does seem like a rather common pull, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, of course, it's the Jock Trainer card, which we do already have. A little bit unfortunate there. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I added this one to the binder. I know I have it. I just, I think because in like my, my kind of bulk hits binder, I have the trainers in the back of it. So I guess when I was pulling cards out to put together the binder, I guess I missed that. So that's one we will add to the binder. I guess it's nice to have a duplicate. The trainers are nice cards. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's not the Miriam alternate art, that's for sure. But, you know, there always is room for more did i get no nothing nothing yet i don't think i've seen a slowpoke or a zangoose yet or a watch roll i mean maybe those are just kind of three common cards that are uh, are rare to pull maybe i don't know i don't know what the hit rates are really in terms of like common yes okay nice okay so there's great tusk ex there that is one we need so that is two cards so far that we can add to the binder there so and we are just rearing the halfway point of the booster box so Pack, I guess this would be 16, 18? Pack 18 down now. What are we gonna get? Okay, slow bro, not slow poke. And as we are checking through here, don't see anything particular that I need. So we are on to our last half of the booster box. I did kind of fly through. Actually, I'm, I'm looking. I did stuff one pack underneath. So I think we're gonna open one, that one up first. Just maybe, uh, Maybe to see if we can, uh, if we were hiding a good hit in the back of the booster box, maybe. I know with our other Lost Origin booster box video when we did it, um, I guess this would have been a couple months ago, towards the start of the channel, there was a couple cards at the front. Uh, just a Meowskarada there, nothing in the pack we need. But I remember when I did it that way, I had stuffed accidentally a couple packs kind of in the back of the booster box, kind of. If you can see it on here or there, in the back of the booster box. So, and those, of course, were hiding. I think it was like a Rainbow Rare, a Full Art, and a Trainer Gallery Gold card. Like, it was just like the biggest, th the three biggest hits in the box were all stuffed like right in the back. And it is, oh, a Nest Ball Secret Rare Gold card. So that is one we need for sure. I needed the gold cards. So Nest Ball getting added to the binder today. I hope that's not like our big hit of the box. I'm sure we can still pull like a an alternate it already here guys i'm i'm confident i would say the word is i'm confident that the the nest ball isn't our biggest one today i'm also expecting some full arts like i think we should you know be in tune for some full arts here i'll just quickly check through but yeah i mean that is good so we have two full arts and art rare three ex's so far so a good chunk down i would say that that's three hits we needed and there's probably some cards in here that i've missed so far i just want to like lightly check through every couple packs to make sure i'm not uh, not missing any that are too critical 
You know what I mean? Like, I, I'll, I'll definitely have to do a dig between uh, when I show you guys what the binder's gonna look like at the end compared to right now, Don Dozo, Floatzel, Wug Trio, Nom. I'm gonna set that, I, mmm. Nimona might be one we need. I'm gonna set it to the side just in case, but I'm, I have a hunch. I have a hunch, guys, that that's one we need. So I'll set it to the side. If we did, that that's another card down. I'm sure like, we gotta pull a Slowpoke or a Zangoose in here, right? Like, it's it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen, guys, but not in that one. Not in that pack for sure. And let me know in the comments how you like this kind of fast rip. I mean, I'm sure some people definitely would have preferred the the slow one, and that and that's fine. You guys are all entitled to your own opinion. I was just trying something different to see, you know, what the what the taste was, how how it, you know how it felt. I mean, we've crushed through almost all the packs, and it is, I mean, it is nine minutes into the video right now. At least on my end, I don't know how much it's going to be on your one. Could ride on there. Let's see, nothing we need in there. But yeah, I'd love to know, you know, do you like the kind of more fast rip style? Do you hate it? Do you want the pack trick? It helps me, you know, when you guys comment, it helps me make better videos, and that's what matters the most. So definitely do not be afraid to leave Palmont and a Spine Off CX in the same pack. Dude, check that one out. Nice, nice, nice. So we do need the Palmont, so that's a killer card in there, and I just want to make sure. Ooh, um, I don't think that's the Zangoose we need. I will set it there, but uh, other than that, I mean, Palmont, that is a nice card. Another art rare card, or I think they're art rares, right? I th like, they just changed the names on them. This, like, those used to be Trainer Gallery, you know, I guess I'd say like a month ago, but more like four weeks ago. It was, uh, like I said, it's a month. But, oh, like, not very long ago, those all used to be, you know, your Trainer Gallery ones, so. It's interesting to see that they have all since then switched names and like these are art rares, those are secret rares, those are trainer rares, character rares, like there's just so many names. I, it's, I'm losing track guys, I'm losing track of that, but the Palmot definitely a nice one for sure. Quickly going through here, our Beliva in there. Let's see, a couple more packs to go here, and then I will be doing, at the end of the video, I will be putting all the new ones in the binder, so you don't have to worry about that. So you guys will see kind of what's all getting added today. Reverum, Reverum, Reverum. Some of the new ones I feel like still have to kind of, I have to nail down the pronunciation with. So, you know, forgive me if I do any wronging with the names. It's bound to happen, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's it's bound to happen. I'm gonna butcher some names, and I'm sure when um, Paldea Evolve comes out, and when we get another new set of Pokemon that I haven't uh, versed myself with, I'm sure it's gonna be bad. You're gonna get some blunders on my end, and you know what? That's bound to happen. I would say that that's bound to happen. Wiglet, Wugtrio, Maridon, not Wugtrio, sorry, not Wugtrio, Palpad, and then a Maridon. I'm just thinking. I'm just making up Pokemon names now. So we have four packs left. I believe it is, ah, that's actually one of each of the pack cards. So I guess we'll do Maridon and just uh, go down the list. I'm expecting some more hits. It's been kind of a, I'm not gonna lie, a thin box if I if I do have to say so myself. And okay, I, you, okay, that's one way to, to change it up. You say it's a thin box and then you get a full art Spide Ops EX, which we do need. So, I mean, that's cool there. Just a quick check through. Penny, no, I don't think we need any of those ones. And then three to go, Gyarados, the three starters, and Moriadon. So, let's quickly do a look through here. Slowbro, mmm. Doesn't look like anything we need in that one. I have been sitting on this box for a bit, so I'd love to know like that these were hits were just kind of sitting on my shelf in packs, waiting to be freed from their pack captivity and uh, released into you know a binder of all places to move from one box to uh, another plastic sleeve, basically. <laughs> but you know, last pack here. I think we'll do. We'll slow play it. We'll slow play it for the for the culture, for you know, for the Pokemon fans out there who just like to see some suspense built up on the last one. I'm not gonna lie, you know what? We'll even give away the good old code card there, set that to the side. Even flip the energy around, water energy there, and let's see, guys, let's see what's been hiding in this last pack. Is it a full art? Is it an EX? Is it anything? Mouse hold. Ultra Ball, Bombardier, and a Maridon, which I don't think we need this one, guys. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we need this one. So, 
in total out of the box in terms of good hits. Actually, it felt like this was a, a slower box. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits. Ooh, kind of a, uh, a slower booster box. I know in our first one, I think we had, I believe it was like 13 hits. I mean, not to say that the hits were bad. We did get, what, Jock, Nest Ball, um, Spite Ops. I was hoping for an alternate art, but the Tarantula one is a very nice card. I do like that one with Scyther up top. But anyways, I think we should put the new ones in the binder, check it out, and see what damage we got done today. All right, so updated look at the binder after the booster box is done. We didn't get a lot of stuff we needed. As you can see, like the Arcanine is still missing. The Slowpoke, however, I do not know how we didn't pull it. I looked through, I double checked, I triple checked. It's not in there, trust me. And if you guys found it in the video and I missed it, please let me know so I can go back through the cards and find it. Same goes for that watch roll there. Didn't find that either. I don't know how these common cards are still evading us. I mean, these pages were full and were full at the start. We did knock down, if you can see it here, the Great Tusky X. That's a nice one that we knocked. And the Coridon. We still do need the Coridon EX. Other page was full before. It remains that way. And Zangoose. I don't know what, like, these common cards are like, are, um, I guess that that one's actually an uncommon, which makes sense. Maybe it's a uh, reverse hollow, I guess it's kind of how they do it, but that card evaded us today too. Over here, we were able to score the Crushing Hammer. I know it's a small addition, but it is one that we did need. This page I'm pretty sure was full before. Same if I don't hit the camera here, that one is full. A new addition though is the Torrentula card. That one goes right above Scovillian, which is cool. And then if we can flip the page here, our next one that we scored was Palmot, an awesome card. It's nice to see the page are starting to fill up a little bit, including Spide Up the X there. And one that I just didn't add in the binder from before, but we did pull today, so I'll count it as a new card, was the Jacques Trainer card. Now I think that there's actually another Jacques card. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's two similar to like the Miriam one. But if we can go over here, Gardevoir is still pretty alone on this page, but across the way she did get a friend in the Golden Nest Ball. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know we were able to pull some good cards today, and I know we're going to have to keep working at this set and hopefully, you know, complete it and, you know, potentially finish it off. Maybe we can pull, again, I really want that Karate on Altar. That is kind of a one I'm hoping we can pull eventually, maybe soon. I don't think I'm going to open up another booster box of this set, at least for a little bit. Let it, let the booster box luck cool down a little bit. But anyways, I know we're doing the outro in a little bit of a different spot, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.